everybody today I am going to be flat ironing my hair now I'm not sure if I'm flat ironing my like all of my hair today but I'm gonna get some done I'm um I need to clip my nails right quick I need to clip my nails because I don't want them snagging my hair you know what I'm saying? Okay, make sure there are none. No nails that can snag my hair. Okay. Okay, yeah, so, um, not sure if you've been following my videos or not but if not i'll tell you i just wash my hair i put um a deep conditioner on for a day and then when i rinse that out i um i use this pro vitamin leave-in by Afogee and um giovanni direct leave-in and I used um, Carol Star Healthy Hair Butter. Um, I have this just in case, but the Pro Vitamin Leave In is supposed to be a heat protectant. What I will be using to flat iron my hair is the Solia, I think, Solia Professional Ceramic Ion Flat Iron. And I have it heated to 370. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to eat it to. I feel like 450 is just too much, but we'll see. It's heating, it has heated at 370. When I get done, just gonna put these bad boys on. These um, flexi rods. And also what I'll be using is um, a dimming brush and a rat tail comb. So I probably better um, get started. I washed my hair a couple of days ago. Um, so hopefully everything is dry. But I'm just going to start with this piece right here. I hope that I'm in the frame, you know. Because I never do YouTube videos. So, well, hair videos. So this is going to be something new for me. Let me be careful while I'm taking down this twist. Looks like my flat iron is already hot because the light is blinking. And I need to get my end, ends um, trimmed so bad. I haven't had them trimmed all year. But anyway, I'm just going to brush this out. I hope that my dimming brush is dry because I actually had to wash it out today. I usually like to do it a day ahead of time, you know, so that it won't be wet. Mm. I hope it's, my hair isn't wet because it probably can, like, damage my hair a bit if um, I flat iron it wet. Wow, that looks really tangly. I didn't put a lot of product on my hair after. Um, a lot of those products that I showed you, I didn't use a lot because um, I didn't want everything to be smoking. But I'm not sure if you guys can tell. But you see where my hair is thicker here? And then it, it kind of becomes a little bit more transparent here because these are my sideburns and edges that were burnt off there um, last year and now they've gotten to here finally they're growing back some of them anyway so I'm just parting my hair I really hope that you all can see this Parting my hair, wrapping that part up. I need a hair 
hairpin or something. I don't have any clips whatsoever. Okay, let's just try to hide this in a twist or something. But yeah. So there's my hair. Oh my gosh, what's that? I washed this out, but it looks like I left a little bit of conditioner or something behind. In the rat tail comb. Okay, so have our part. We have a part. I get nervous every time I do this because I don't flat iron my hair often. But um I'm trying to make it so that you guys can see. I hope that y'all can see. But yeah. I'm not used to um flat ironing my hair. If you guys, as you guys probably can tell. Oh man, I forgot to do the little um, chase method. What I really, really like to use to flat iron my hair is a brush, but I had to get rid of my brush because it was just so, like, dirty. And, I mean, I know I wash brushes all the time, the flat kind, but, um, I like using the round kind. Okay, guys, I think my hair is a little bit damp there. Make sure you wash your um your stuff ahead of time. So there's one piece. If my hair was longer, I would definitely try to rock that um Nicki Minaj. Well to my explains why my hair is like everywhere. But um I would definitely rock that Nicki Minaj ponytail or try to so, yeah take another piece I feel like you guys can't see me but work with me work with me this should get better I hope I'm close enough to the camera I do like to do the chase method but it honestly is a little bit difficult while um i'm recording so there's that piece um, i feel like my edges are still <clears throat> my end this i mean the end of that piece is matted so cut it out it's not sure Okay, give me that part one more time. I know some people only do one pass on their hair, and I applaud them for that, but I don't know how my hair gets straight after um one pass. And I'm not looking for bone straight like everybody else always says. I'm really not. But, I mean, I'm looking for at least, you know, semi-straight. Hope you guys can see. I mean, I might be able to get it straight with two passes if I um, do it properly. I think one of the keys to um, flat ironing your hair is going slow enough, you know? So, I'm not looking all crazy. I'm all up in this, this camera. Oof. Jeez. Y'all getting too much of me today, huh? Okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> Just flat ironing. This part right here is um, somewhat tangled. It's the end. Yeah, I told y'all my ends were um, raggedy. Did not. I wasn't lying. Okay. I probably need to do like, I don't know, cut four inches or so off. Um, okay, so I guess that was that part, huh? Okay, let's get another twist. 
Um, also, something else that, I mean, I guess I shouldn't, I don't have to tell you guys this, but you do want to clean your flat irons before um, using them, you know. Um, ouch. Okay, so, put that away. And... Let's see. But yeah, um, some people probably think that I skipped a step, um, blow drying, but I don't blow dry my hair. It's such, like, a hassle, and I'm not good at it at all. Oh yeah, I just kind of skipped that step. When I first, like the very first time I ever, when I very first flat ironed my hair, I um, blow dried it and it, it just, honestly, it made the process so much longer and how it is, you know, it's frustrating and um, discouraging and I don't know what made me stop blow drying like not doing it again but after that first time I didn't do it anymore and if I did do it it probably was like one other time but um this is what it's looking like kind of lifeless but new but we're um we're gonna put some life into it soon that's where the um flexi rods come in but, um, blow drying my hair, it just, it's a hassle. And I really don't see, um, like, I don't think that it's that much better when I blow dry it as opposed to twisting it overnight. I hope I'm making sense, guys. It's, um, not the easiest thing in the world, um, to talk to a camera while you're flat ironing your hair. <laughs> uh, let me get my, um, my dimming brush. I'm so happy that I didn't, uh, my hair felt dry, but I'm so happy I didn't end up going back in and putting some more heat protectant in it because it, it had enough um, product in it. Maybe I should be turning it this way, but that's kind of awkward because I can't see what the heck I'm doing. I'm going over it two times. Once by itself. Once with the, um, the demon brush. Okay, guys. Um, more of the, like, you see edges right here that were burned off they are trying to grow back i really need to get me like hair clips or something so that um you know it would be easier for me to just work with my hair period i mean it's kind of sizzling Ooh, I think I had too much product on it right there on the back. Don't put too much product, guys. Um, you know what it reminds me of when I have too much product in my hair? Like those old, like, movies and stuff. Or, you know how it was back in the day. When your parents used to use like hot combs. Have y'all seen that dude who was always like that part, that part, that part? Y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about. But every time every time he says something, he always says that part, that part. He's so funny. Well, I don't know what he would consider himself to be. If he kind of dressed up like a woman, but... Um, 
Like, I don't know if he considers him, or I don't know if they consider him, himself to be a, a man or a woman. Um, but yeah, they're always saying um, that part. So funny. Okay, guys, so I'm in the last piece. And it's still the same night. I'm not really tired either, and it hasn't taken me um super duper long put my whole head on 370 i'm not really sure what you're supposed to do it on Whew. stuff i guess it's just the product my hair Cause I'm running out of memory on this um, memory card here. If you guys can see, I'm gonna have to part that so I can get that little part. And I know you guys see my sideburns are somewhat not straight, but just wrap your hair. Or, no, I don't wrap my hair. I always, whenever I have my hair flat, I always put it in these rollers. And the reason is, like, my hair doesn't do right. Like, if it's straight, it doesn't do right. Um, wraps. I don't know, it's, it's, it's like more likely to puff back up if I wrap it. Okay, I have less than a minute left. But, um, okay. Done. Basically, I'm just about to um, get all of my hair and probably divide it into about four or um, five sections. Hey guys, so I am um, recording from my vlogging camera, which isn't as good as my other camera, but this will have to do. I'm on. I'm going to a funeral today, so. Yeah, I still have my rollers in and um, I'll take them out in like five minutes or so. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys. Hey guys, so I'm about to um, leave for a funeral, but I wanted you guys to see my hair. Um, I don't know if you can see it good, but... It was curled like really really good at first but um, I ended up brushing my hair and brushing most of the curls out because I had to get my roots straight. I was cleaning the other day and um, like cleaning pretty intensely and so I ended up having to um, I was I ended up kind of sweating a little bit so yeah my roots got um, to the point where they were like freezing back up but yeah this is my hair and i will try oops excuse that excuse that and excuse that miss <laughs> but i will try um to get my husband to take a picture of um my hair i wish this part right here was laying down better but oh well what can you do um but so you